everybody? I'm your host, Tay, and today we're here with Product of the City and Trey YKC. So I just want to know how y'all came together on like a beat, because I'm Florida music and New York music are two completely like y'all have like Word. drill music in Florida, yeah, like, you know, where y'all have like the fast music and stuff. I feel like now everything's interchanging though. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. kind of how we got into the mix. I mean, the beat itself isn't necessarily too drill. Um, not. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to uh, Danny 101. He's going to yeah, be the yeah. beat. And yeah, we were going through. Crazy. We were actually, if I'm not mistaken, we were going through all the beats that we were trying to choose. And it was the f first beat, I think, that we did. Yeah, yeah, it was the and first we liked beat. it, but we were like, all right, let's listen to everything else. And everything else we listened to was just mid. You know what I'm saying? Like, he has a certain flow and then I have a flow too where we could rap and do like a little melody so we figured that was the one you know what I mean it's crazy going into that song um how we how that first even started we was here we had the youth and this dude chilling sitting down on this couch I was sitting right there and we're just right going there. there right there I'm not a bad literally right there so, it's so, so, so no cap no cap that seat right there is where like a million dollars I'm so much about right there <laughs> I ain't gonna lie a little bit more, man. Oh, a little bit more, man. I'm gonna keep it above. <laughs> you know that's coming from management, so. <laughs> that's coming from management. But anyway, so we was there, you know, we was chilling. And uh, we was going through beats. Shout out to Danny Wonderfun, who's actually one of his producers uh, in yeah. Singapore. He's in Singapore. And he, in yeah, Singapore? OT. Oh, and he oh, sends oh. him a couple beats. So we want, you know, just hear different producers. Like, like I work with predominantly the same producers. We want to kind of step outside the box with this one. So we playing beats, and it was the first beat that we heard. It was hard, but we wanted to hear more because you're not just going to go with the first yeah. one on top. But it's like weed. It's like you you see one weed that you really like, and you see a whole bunch of other flavors. You, at the end of the day, you're going to go with the one you really mm -hmm. like. That's exactly what happened. We played like 10, 12 beats, and we were right back to that first beat. And it was just cool. Like... It was just got it all the vibe. He yeah. he sat down over there. I sat down in my little corner. It's we played good. the beat a couple of times. Um, I really wanted to do the hook because I've been trying to like, look like, I guess you could say practice in a sense. Mm -hmm. I'm just like sense. making like fire hooks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So and that hook was tough. So as I'm doing the hook, uh, what did I say? I was like, um, well, something about like me being Haitian. You feel me? And then. It sounded so catchy that we wanted to make it a pre-hook, but it, it was going to sound fire if he says it. So we were like, fuck it, you say it. But then when he went in there and said it, he's like, wait a minute, I'm not Asian. Word. So we're like, oh yeah, it's true. So he kind of switched it up. He said he's Jamaican. And then I was like, I spent some money on some oh, Cartier God. lenses. Mm -hmm. And he's like, bro, I ain't buying no Cartier lenses. I put so 3.5 like, right, on a... Uh, Marley and a Mar yeah, so so it was just a cool experience of like how we just yeah, shit, wrote it up together, performed it together, and you know what I'm saying like it flowed like it really flowed like he told me from the jump when I first met him that he don't really do a lot of features like right, that. I was figuring out to touch on that too. You feel me? Like, like don't like he always told me that. And me personally, like I do features, but I'm kind of selective. Mm -hmm. Like I think anybody is who does any art, they're selective with who they work with. Of course. Um. But I fuck with his flow and his approach to certain beats. And I think that he fuck with mine for the same reason. So that's kind of how that sound, you know what I'm saying? Like, came together. How did you both find Lucrative? Ernie's my dog. Mm -hmm. Ernie's been my homeboy since I was young. Like, back when we used to do, like, a lot of, like, sneaker shit. And then Fordo shot the Fordo films. He shot the video for us. That's another one of my close homeboys, you know what I'm saying? When I started making music, I... Um, Ernie in particular, like, he would be like, yo, like, this is hard. And this is, like, years ago, like, to the point where I would never even play some of the music that he told me was hard back then. I would never play it for you right now. But, like, <laughs> it's old shit, you feel me? It's like, oh shit. Like, it's still hard, though. But, like, long story short, he was fucking with me from the jump. And he kept, and we kept that relationship, like, no matter what he was doing, he would always somehow send me some type of, like, vibe, like, yo, that shit you dropped is hard, you know? And he's a very, like, to himself dude, so he's gonna tell me personally. And I always took that to heart. And then he really has a good ear for music, and then eventually he wanted to, you know, like, do business with m music. Yeah. Like, we used to sit in an empty room 
thinking to ourselves like, damn, just wait until, just wait until, just wait until. And sometimes it's funny, like, we don't even realize it, but like, everything that we will talk about, we already doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know that's an amazing feeling. It's the best feeling, bro, especially when it's friends and family mm-hmm. that you knew for years. Like, I know these niggas for a long time, so it's cool, you know? Like, for instance, the song actually chances. He's doing his thing right now. He's on his DJ Khaled shit. Like, mm-hmm. he got his own little publishing company and he hit us up because we're, you know, close friends. Some of his favorite artists that he's fucking with. And he was like, yo, we want y'all boys to be on the first song that we dropped. So Chances is actually the first lucrative youth, like, song, yeah. like, single. That song is lit. So for different artists, you know what I'm saying, when they tap in, they'll be able to get into that mm-hmm. same vibe as well. But, we, but, you know, me and Trey just had to set it off yeah. for the boys. Yeah. So what about you? Sure. Honestly, well, respectfully, I'm new down here. So like, what I came down here one time. I went to the studio, and my dog um, Nick, he actually introduced me to Photo. And Shout out Arnick. Word. Because that's actually how I even knew who you were. Now that I'm thinking oh, about it. Oh shit. Because he would repost your shit a lot, and I'd be like, "Who is this New York nigga?" Shout out okay. Arnick, bro. Uh, Damn, yeah, that's actually how I first started speaking. So what? He he done he told photo because I needed a cameraman for the studio session, and he was like, "Yo, I know one." Introduced me to photo. We shot. Um, uh, go to into the race bed because that's credit. What? But then I believe photo. You introduced me to lucrative you. After that, we really built a connection. Like we got close, and honestly, I didn't really work with them. For a minute, like mm-hmm. it took some time, a few months actually, before we actually really locked in and like, yo, let's make some shit happen. Like I say, it was like six months. We shot in like November of last year, and like six, seven months later, we're like, yo, we gonna do this for real. So how'd you come up with the name Chances for the song? Hey, it was this dude. <laughs> he had it in the hook, and yeah, okay. Chances on chances, you feel me? That shit is hard. We're bringing it back. we bringing it back. What's the meaning behind it? Shit. Um, it's kind of like a, like a, like a, like a go get it song. You know what I mean? Um, when I, re- when I write, I would say I usually like most people. I kind of write in the vibe that I'm in, and I was kind of angry that day. Why were you angry? <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> angry, but I was kind of angry, like some past shit happened, and it was just kind of like fucking with me. Oh, I know shit. Oh yeah. Come on, we on camera. Oh, yeah. So like, <laughs> so like, you know what I'm saying? So like, all in all, like, I kind of just took that energy. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was me against the mic, and then uh, we just kind of put that go get the attitude. Oh yeah. We like we really taking chances on chances every day. None of this That's is true. just promise. You have a point, you have a point. So how did you both find each other? Lucrative you. Lucrative you. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah, basically. And I feel like I seen one of, I feel, I seen one of his songs, mm-hmm. and I was just tuning in. I just locked in with this dude, because he got vibes. He got good music. No love. Like, Appreciate you. I forgot that one song. Probably the first one. Uh, I forgot the first I think it was Sezzy. I think. Pop on open up shop yes. The yeah, bro. The first song I seen my dude was Sezzy. Yeah, that's some drill shit. Snack. That shit was and it was drill, yeah. Like, I'm from New York, I think I did. You picked it up. I just picked that shit up. Says y'all now. <laughs> Tap in with that. You know, so how was it doing the music video? Cold as fuck. Oh, oh, man. Man. Let's talk about it. it. No, I want to know from the both of you. How was, please tell me from bro, beginning to end. Brick, bro. Brick. Like, I'm from New York, and it's cold. It always get that cold, but I swear to everything, I've never been that cold like I was. What was the temperature? Brick. Uh, bro. I think it was like brick. <laughs> it was cold. Dead bro. ass. Like, I don't remember. It was what? cold. Like, oh, Florida. How long were y'all shooting for? Like a day and a half. A two days, day. about. Then I. Outside. Outside Word. for real. Outside. Oh, and dark. No. Oh yeah. No, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, basically. So, what yeah. time did y'all finish shooting? Like, so we were like, all right. Or did so you like shoot like a right day? Now, yeah, yeah, I don't even know if I want to answer. No, I'm playing. No, <laughs> we was we were just shooting. Like, literally, look. look so it's like how it happened. We did the song, and then I went up to New York mm-hmm. with a couple of my own boys. And I was talking to Ernie on the phone. Shout out to Ernie, big look of you. And I was like, yo, like, I'm here. He's from New York. I'm in New York. Why don't we just shoot the video, like, here? You feel me? 
and the next day they was on the plane. All that, yeah, yeah. So it was like a last minute thing, and it came together really well. Oh yeah. Oh, we kind of just lit. went around and yeah. yeah. vibe. Really nice. we, we just caught vibe. Yeah, it was food. the first time I saw snow. No really? cat. Crazy. It was the first time that I was in That's snow. Crazy. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah, it was lit. I should have seen this nigga <laughs> roll a snowball for the first Wait, time. Wait, what? <laughs> Throwing that shit. Well, yeah, Did you have out. a snowball fight? <laughs> no, nah, like a little one. I think I threw <laughs> in at Ernie. Chances log out now. <laughs> oh, yeah. You yeah, just can't watch them. Shout out Big Fordo Films. Big yeah. Fordo Films on that vlog. His name's Fordo Films, but I say big in front of everything because, you know, we're we, we going big. So, mm-hmm. yeah, big Fordo Films. Big on big. Thank you both for coming on here tonight. It was really, really fun having the both of you here Thank at the you. Lucrative Youth Studios. Yeah, yeah. Definitely Very can't much. wait to have future interviews with the both of you. All right, definitely go check out Chances out on all platforms. Follow me, Instagram, product OTC. Uh, tap in again, Chances out now, all streaming platforms. Shout out to Lucrative Youth. Shout out to the movie, uh, Photo yeah. Film. Shout out to One of One Danny. Shout out to my yeah. boy Trey, we did that. Movie. Uh, I'm I'm to to shout out to Big Sky Dave. Dave. That's my slat. That's my nigga. That's my engineer for L. And big shout out to Citrus Rap and everybody that's tuning in. Yeah. Appreciate you. And you can follow me on the gram at Trey dot YKC. That's T R E dot YKC. Shit. New projects. On, no new singles on the way. My bad. And um. You know, everything chance, exactly okay. new everything new everything chances out now go run that up no swiping is about to be out now as well so go run that up as well and shout out citrus rap and everybody that i'm gonna be working with in the future if i want a morally to come here to party i'm here for the snacks i'm here for the snacks i'm in me in haitian i told him jamaican that shit is a rap yeah i promise that shit is a rap that shit was a rap someone give me the rap i know d got the